Okay, so... Judging the top 10 games for any category is no easy task, and Roviation is no different. There are so many games suited for such wildly different playstyles, and it's nigh impossible to do so without having your own personal opinion to throw into the mix. But, with that said, I've been playing these games for many years now, and I feel uniquely qualified to give my take on what are some of the very best flight simulators that Roblox has to offer. Now, with that said, let's jump straight into number 10. Emergency landing. I know for most of you when you hear Roblox Flight Sim, this is not the game that comes to mind. And to be honest, that's why it just barely made the list. However, this game focuses its simulation on the one thing that no one else does. The crashes. Because it's Roblox, the crashes aren't, you know, incredible, of course, but the wreckages do look really realistic. It's exciting, and there's currently over 150 different possible emergency scenarios, which when combined with, you know, where you crash, whether it's into the sea, into a mountain or a field, or even attempt to land at an airport, you can play this game for hours and never have the same scenario be repeated. It does lose points by having a crap pay to win system, but overall emergency landing takes the best crash mechanics award and comes in at 10th place. Hostile Skies. It's a game that I always seem to end up talking about, and is an absolute favourite of mine. I have far more hours on this than many of the other games I've placed higher up on the list, and yet it's only down here at the number 9 slot because of just how depressingly limited it is. With only 3 maps, 2 game modes and 8 aircraft, it's enough to stay occupied for a little while, and players can definitely have fun grinding their way up the aircraft and upgrade trees, but once you've unlocked everything, that's it. The game quickly wears thin. Don't get me wrong, it's one of the most all-round satisfying games on Roblox, but it hasn't been updated in a long time now, and it's slowly losing its player base. It does, however, win the award for the best arcade flyer for its interesting handling mechanics, as well as unique damage modelling. All of this landing the game here in the ninth spot. Acceleration Acceleration used to be one of the most promising flight simulators ever to be released on Roblox, but the developers weren't really working on it for very long, and it soon became clear that it was kind of just a cash grab for the developers. And that really sucks, it's the only game on this list that currently costs anything. It costs 99 Robux to play, and on top of that it costs extra to fly some of the aircraft. It's clear how much the developers wanted to do here, the menus are stunning and the aircraft feel genuinely amazing to fly, to the extent that I feel like it's one of the best flight models on Roblox. If you have the money and you want to try out the genuinely incredible flight model, then maybe you'll find enjoyment here, but acceleration proves that just simply having a good flight model isn't enough and, well, that's why it's down here. Despite winning the best user interface award, it's all the way down here in 8th place. Wings of Glory. This is a game that's been around for years, and despite a loyal fan base and over 40 million visits, it's never really blown up in the way that I think it deserves. It's similar to Hostile Skies in the fact that it's a historic arcade dogfighter, and you know, like Hostile Skies, there's damage modelling, different maps, and aircraft slash tech trees to work your way up. But Hostile Skies is a lot more in depth in really just every way. The aircraft look nicer, there's more of them spread across six different factions, there's a much wide variety of upgrades for aircraft, including missiles if you manage to work your way up to jets. And on top of all of this, it's constantly being updated and its community is, well, it's just amazing. They're always friendly in chat, have a super tight Discord server, and, well, it's a little more intense than Hostile Skies, and definitely requires more skill, making it a game that's a bit harder to just jump in and out of, but overall it's definitely a game that's just all around better. Uh, this earns Hostile Skies the most satisfying award, as well as coming into my list at number 7. Airplane Simulator This was the game that surprised me the most just year, as it seems to just kind of come out of the blue and take the community by a bit of a storm. And in my opinion it's well deserved, it has a large map, a good variety of unique aircraft, it feels good to fly, and even has an economy system. Now, although it does have all of these, it's all just kind of good. 
and the game doesn't really excel in any area. The environments look just okay, and the menus and the UI are simplistic and kind of bare. I know it's Roblox and everything, but everything's just kind of good and like the aircraft control well enough and well to me it feels a lot like how ptfs was a few years ago but with the added economy and jobs it feels like it has a lot more potential to grow into a different direction and this is why for me airplane simulator wins the best all rounder award and slots into my list at number six Neo Warfare X is messy, unoptimized, a mess of systems and UIs and seems to be almost completely designed to confuse and turn away new players. Yet underneath this outer layer is one of the most in-depth combined arms combat simulators on the Roblox platform. It has hundreds of vehicles, many of which are animated and have unique functions, weapons, handling characteristics and oh so much more. I've talked about Neo in depth on several occasions on this channel and despite the spaghetti code that it is prevents many players from even joining the game at all. The fighter jet dogfights, the multi-aircraft attack missions and combined armed exercises of ground, sea and air vehicles are all absolutely superb when organised with friends and all of this combined with having some of the biggest maps of any of the games on this list means that Neo easily wins the best combat award as well as coming fifth place on the list. Project Flight absolutely detonated onto the scene this year, starting off as a simple free flight place with just a few aircraft and paid access only, to now being one of the hottest and fastest growing flight sims, rivaling legends of the genre. The speed at which these updates to this game have been coming out is amazing to see, and at this pace it will be on par with MSF 20 by this time next year. Project Flight already has a good variety of fully animated aircraft, lots of diverse and well decorated airports, too many liveries to count, and even more advanced features like autopilot and ATC mode. It's not the best looking game ever made, and although it lets you jump out of your aircraft, there's not any real reason to do so. But despite these small points, all in all, Project Flight wins the Best Newcomer Award by an absolute mile, as well as earning 4th place on the list. Flightline is the definitive Roblox flight simulator when it comes to a realistic flying experience. It might not have the best looking map, it might not have the widest variety of aircraft or airports, but in terms of simply flying the aircraft, having it behave like a real aircraft, and making me feel like a real pilot, Flightline takes it. But boy is it close between Flightline and Project Flight. Overall, I do think that Project Flight is a better player experience, but because I'm ranking these games as flight simulators, Flightline's handling is just that little bit better, and honestly, these games are pretty much even. With Project Flight getting updates faster, Flightline is definitely on the back foot, and will definitely need to be seeing updates more frequently if it wants to stay competitive. As a flight sim, however, Flightline to me, right now, does win out, having a more satisfying flight model, on top of its amazing autopilot, first person cockpit camera, all of this just wins Flightline the most realistic award and puts it just about into third place. Pilot Training Flight Simulator isn't just a Roblox flight simulator, it's THE Roblox flight simulator. It's for that reason that I wonder how many of you thought this would be number one. PTFS is a genuinely incredible game, and I have super strong ties to it. Without it, I certainly wouldn't have the same following I have today, and Roviation as a whole would look very different. The main developers, Orange, Code QWERTY and Samasage have pioneered so much for Roblox flight enthusiasts and have done a lot of good at the same time. They absolutely deserve the popularity that PTFS receives and I hope it gets the attention for many more years to come. The map is large, there's plenty of unique aircraft that all fit perfectly into the game's ever so slightly cartoony style that makes it so charming. Its small development team is what makes PTFS so tight-knit and helps players connect to it. And yet, 
I think it is this tiny development team that's also PTFS's biggest weakness. It only has one builder creating the map and all of the vehicles within it. And I think that does show when compared to other games on this list. The map hasn't seen an update in a while, and I feel like there's just so much more potential for the game if only there was the manpower behind it. And with that said, PTFS has absolutely found its style and turns these weaknesses into positives. Every update is an event that the community celebrates and every aircraft is strategically chosen and has loyal fans. The airports that players can fly from are all unique and set upon differently themed islands ranging from the completely fictional shores of Rockford to the scaled down islands of the real life Cyprus. Each island can be explored by air, sea or even foot and all have hidden easter eggs hidden away for those who put in the time to find them. All of this combined means that PTFS absolutely nails the award for best map and takes the silver medal for second place. Aeronautica was born when a small team of developers banded together to recreate a legendary game called Wings World, one of Roblox's oldest flight simulators. Aeronautica took this concept and added to it, and added to it, and added to it, and now this leaves us with what I consider to be the greatest flight simulator Roblox has ever seen. There is not a single feature that this game does not have. If you thought PTFS's map was big, then Aeronautica's is over 50 times as large. As of right now, it has over 450 different aircraft, ranging from basic things like light aircraft, airliners, and jet fighters, to the more extreme like airships, ground effect vehicles, and even bloody space planes. It has a fully fledged economy system, where players can buy and sell parts for aircraft, has creatable airlines where you can set colours and liveries, and have other players join and earn money for. It has the best ATC mode I've ever seen on Roblox, and it even has findable crates hidden around the map, that when you find enough of them, allow you to create weird and wonderful aircraft, effectively turning the entire map into a giant easter egg hunt. The biggest issue I see people having with Aeronautica is that it's a grind, and honestly, completely fair enough. Having to earn aircraft isn't for everyone and some people just want a carefree sandbox where everything's just given to you for free. But to me, that's where the game is and that's what makes it satisfying to play for long periods. It gives you a goal and it's collecting these unique aircraft that you can decorate and show off that keeps me as well as so many others coming back. Aeronautica might not be for everyone, but in terms of features, in terms of how much polish has been turned into the game, in terms of how the game feels, it is absolutely number one. And that's what I think is going to make it controversial as my number one pick, but as a game and as a flight simulator, I think it's a clear-cut victory as Roblox's number one flight simulator. <laughs> And that's it! I know a lot of you are going to really disagree with that order, so again, that's just my order, and I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're big into Roblox Aviation, as I've got lots more of this kind of stuff on the way, but other than that, that's all I have to say. Thank you very much for watching, Patron, out.